the last type of uh, of NFTs that you get, it's I've actually there's two types. So the first is you get sort of an influencers NFT, like a, a Journey Crypto, for example, where part of the utility of the NFT is you get access to his alpha, to his first knowledge to him knowing things first right so um that could be you know that he drops something like what i just um suggested may happen with rebel bots um or you, he could organize whitelist for people who own his uh, nft which he does often that you know he's got influence a lot of influence in the space and he you can use that influence to get information before anyone else and part of owning his NFT is that you will get that information earlier than anyone else. And you'll also get the ability to have things like whitelists and stuff like that. Um, and then you get uh, other type of influencer things like Kosher Plug. Um, shout out to Kosher Plug if he ever watches this. Um, but basically he's Plug Pass where you get access to Alpha also, to whitelist also, that sort of thing. He also do, is developing bots that you can use. So basically, you, you buy the NFT to get access to information more than anything else um, and access to the community. Um, which is quite interesting. Um, and yeah, there are, there's whitelists, there's, um, you know, he'll tell you about things before anyone else. So that's a different type of NFT altogether. You know, there's no artwork. They all look exactly the same. Um, there's 844 owners of, of one NFT. And the team, you know who it is. Um, you know, he's a public uh, uh, influencer in the space. Um, so everything falls away, really. And the question becomes, what alpha, or what level of alpha are you going to get? And how quickly are you going to get it? And then we go into another very interesting side of NFTs, which is which is quite new, um, but I do believe will have a very um, big future use case. Um, and I do think a lot of NFTs are going to look like this in the future. And that is that one is linked to products. So like we saw with Adidas. So again here, this NFT is the same for all 20 whatever thousand holders. There were 30,000 NFTs. I think there's about 23,000 holders. Everyone has the same visual. But what, what product are you going to get? Well, they say here that you're going to be getting physical merchandise, um, a Firebird tracksuit, right, as the, the one that was shown in that commercial um, over here. And then you're also going to be getting a graphic hoodie as, fe as featured in Punk's comics. And then you're also going to be getting G Money's classic orange um, beanie as well. So here you can see that what you're getting, the beanie's there as well. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what you're getting, I think because I'm streaming, I, it's taking a bit too much. There's the tracksuit there. But That's basically, cool. you, you, yeah, so you're getting the NFT, and hopefully people want to be a part of this, and that NFT will appreciate in value over time. But you're also getting products that are linked to it. Um, and once they've dropped those, I have no doubt that they'll come back and they'll say, okay, next time around, we're going to be dropping the following things for next year or whatever it may be. They also have plans to be in the metaverse, big plans and things like that. Um, but that's just an example of a, of a project that owning the NFT um, is a – is a beginning to get access to their products. And then you get service NFTs, right? Similar to what we were saying with um, with Kosher Plug, that, that he's developing bots. So this is a subscription to a service, right? So just like you'd usually send in a check um, and, and that would come back with a little membership card saying you now a member and you would get whatever that was, whether that be a subscription to a magazine or whatever that used to be. Here you're getting an NFT um, instead of your membership card. And that NFT is your subscription to whatever product these companies are selling. So Ninja Alerts is quite a well-known company that um, is you're able to get the app once you own the NFT. And once you set up that app, you're able to get special alerts customized to you when wallets you follow mint something or buy something. You can set it up the way you want it. And you literally get an alert to your phone saying, oh, Pranksy just bought a doodle for um, 100 Ethereum. Do you want to do <laughs> And then you go in and buy one for 100 Ethereum, right? No, so um, that's Ninja Alerts. And you get other examples of it like Cyber Babies here, which is really an exciting one. 
Uh, one ETH floor price, and they working on a whole lot of different bots. So the one is a contract bot to help you mint sooner than others. Um, another one is an open C bot that will um, tell you when something rare is near the floor price, and you can set up the parameters of how when you want to be notified and when you don't. Um, then there's a, a normal rarity bot that like similar to what I've shown you guys before on mine where well these will all be the same rarity but where it will show you the rarity on your on your open sea um and then a bid bot where it can actually put bids in for you so you can sort of say well if you see a rarity 100 out of a 10,000 collection under five ethereum you give a permission to actually buy on your behalf so even if you're not there that transaction will go through so that's just another example of you know the nft itself and this happens to be an image, but you're not really worried about the artwork per se. You you want the features and the services that having that um, NFT will give you. Awesome.